Well, it came from South Jersey, and believe it or not, it was in the home that was purchased in the eve of the garage. For several years, we never even realized that it was there. So what did you think when you first saw it? Were you afraid to pick it up? I think I started to dance around, and my niece describes it as the happy dance, because <laughs> it was something so peculiar that I knew it was special. A piece of folk art has to have a lot of things going for it to be great. It has to draw you in. Yes. And that's exactly what this does. Back around 1890 or 1900, somewhere in that time period, somebody decided that they wanted to make something out of roots, mm -hmm. and once they got started, they couldn't stop. Right. It has a great old finish on it, and it's kind of like those spooky trees yes. in the old tales. It fascinates me, it drives me crazy, and it kind of scares me too. And that's exactly what something like this should do for you. There's a little bit of wear up here, but I'll tell you something, to a non-folk art person, this is probably ugly as a mud fence. But to the people that collect folk art, right. it's a thing of great beauty. So much detail, several different snakes. Birds. Birds. A cat. Cat, my favorite. Another cat. And a horse head over there. And as far as value is concerned, we really agonized over that part of it. Okay. Uh, I would say a good auction estimate would be thirty to fifty thousand dollars. That's incredible. <laughs> That's um, really welcome news. That's unbelievable. Wow. And that is just really wonderful.